taxation is a total con. So you might have heard that I think the, Eng the English or the American were taxed 2% by the English back before the American Revolution. The American Revolution actually started because of this. 3% tax, 3%. Now we get what, like 40, 50? 30 maybe if we're lucky. Um, let me explain to you why taxes are just a total con. So first of all, money isn't real. Uh, I'm not lying, money genuinely isn't real. It used to be backed by gold, so it has value because gold is limited. Now it's just a piece of cash, and even in the future it's going to become even less real because it's going to be just a number on a screen. It can be literal pixels. So what happens is the government give you the money. So they give you this fake money. So they give you it, and then they take some of it back from you. Or you give some of them back, some of it back. Which doesn't make sense because they could just give you less to begin with. They could just, you know, income, not income tax, like VAT, VAT or something. You could just do that. Now, I think what tax is, it's one of these, it's a satanic master plan. It sounds crazy, sounds crazy, but I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate. So, these satanists think that if they can make you responsible for what's going on, then they've like alleviated the bad karma from themselves. It's this weird thing. So what happens is by you paying taxes, think about what happens to your taxes. Well, you get you fund organizations like C40 Cities, which are removing your freedoms and working on doing that every single day. They're sitting in meetings discussing how they can control you. And then you have, we also fund wars, abroad wars. So we're funding the killing of men. Well, and innocent people as well, 100%. What else are we funding now? Uh, well, also, the taxes just don't... We don't even get the things we need or should be getting with taxes. So your fake money that is used to destroy people and benefit no one but them, of course, because the entire set system is set up just to benefit the interests of the elite. Which isn't that crazy. Of course, if you're powerful, you're going to set the system up in a way that helps you maintain your power or allows you to choose someone to maintain your power for you, George Soros and his son, as I'm sure. So, you know what, I think you should all just do it. Just stop paying taxes. Because, think about it, isn't it, if you're responsible for the bombing of Ukrainian and Russian men, you're basically paying for murder. I know I don't pay taxes, I'm 15. But look, just from someone who's having an outside look from the world, I feel like I have a good view, I'm unbiased. I'm not unbiased, I don't like the government. But, I'm relatively unbiased. And I think you should just all stop paying taxes.